What's up guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I will be doing another beginner tutorial and I'll be showing you how to create a simple yet parametric family in Revit. It will be a furniture family actually, just a simple table and then we'll do some parameters and create different family types for this table. Now because this is a simple tutorial, if you want to see something more complex, I actually created a tutorial, a two-part tutorial where I showed you how to create a table with chairs and it's a complex parametric family so if you want to check that out link is in the description that's a bit, a bit next level stuff but let's get into this simple tutorial and before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so let's get started here I am in Revit and for families I'm just going to go here to families and go to new and now we have the option of choosing the family template. Now the template is very important for families. So here we've got a bunch of them and because this will be just a furniture model, you can either go to metric furniture or you can go to generic model. But because we're creating furniture, we want this to be classified as a furniture family, then make sure to go with metric furniture and wait for a second for it to open and this is what you get so this is the the family environment if you have never used it this is what what it looks like you've got a bunch of these uh, options for create so no architecture tab and this is what we're going to be using to create our parametric family and these reference lines or planes will help you kind of align your family in space and help you make it parametric so the first thing we want to do we want to make sure that we adjust the uh, the dimensions of the table and before we do that we need to set the units so I'm just going to type in UN and change this to centimeters I just prefer centimeters for furniture and if you're using uh, imperial units you would set it to inches or whatever okay so first let's create a reference line uh, or reference plane that will help us dimension our table so you go here to reference plane or use the shortcut RP and let's just place one over here and one on this side. So I like to place them like this. And then for this distance, we can use something like, yeah, let's leave it at 100. And for this, yeah, let's leave it at that. And now let's do a few more reference planes. So RP and you create a few like this. So you kind of have this square and within the square we're going to have our table. And now we need to constrain these reference planes and you do that using dimensions. So you either go here to dimension or align dimension or you type in DI and you start the same command. And then we're going to start from uh, left to right and dimension this. So these three planes and then you hit here EQ and it makes them equal so these two distances will be equal and then you create another dimension that will uh, allow you to dimension the, the size of these two and then you do the same thing on the other side so you make these two make them equal and then you add this to have the, the, full, uh, the, the full dimension of the table and for this one we need to make it a parameter so we need to ch be able to change this distance so we're going to be able to go in and just by changing the parameters these two will change and these two as well so our family will be parametric so I'm just going to select this dimension and go here to this little label and it says create parameter and now you can create a parameter so I'm just going to call this I don't know something like length and make sure that it's a type parameter and hit OK and for this let's go with width and just go create parameter and go OK and now if we change these parameters the actual size of the table will change and how do you change them you go over here to this family types and you open it up and you change maybe the length at let's leave it at let's do 160 and for width let's do 90 and go apply and as you can see it changed the, the, the constraints okay so now we can create kind of the, the table uh, the table plane or whatever you would call it but for that we need to place it even on uh, on the on some height so for the height of the table we need to go to front elevation and here you can see everything is on the ground now so we need to create a new reference plane so just type in RP and create a reference plane that's kinda above ground at some level and now here we have this kinda dimension that helps us 
just uh, place this in in space but if we hit this little icon over here it create it turns it into irregular dimension and now we can select this and go here to create parameter and we can call this table height or we'll just height and again make sure that it's in type parameter so now by changing this we can change the height of the table and let's leave it at something like 78 for now this is something like a kitchen table okay so once we've got this height parameter and let's call this plane so this is the plane on which you eat or work so this is the table plane so let's go back into reference level and now let's create our our table so go to create extrusion and then you set the reference plane to our reference plane plane and you hit OK and now you create a rectangle so for the rectangle you can either go like this from one part to another or what I prefer to do just for to constrain it later on I like to do it a bit on the inside like this so you're a bit on the inside from all the reference planes and then you go to a L or align and now you can just go around and align this to all of these reference planes so you kinda go like that you align and you lock in place align lock in place and you just go finish but before that for the extrusion end let's do something like four centimeters and just go apply and now if we go to front you can see here we have our, uh, our table plane and if, as you can see it's going kinda upward but I want to change it to go down so I'm just going to change this to minus four so it's kinda going downward like that so we have our, tra uh, our table and I would just like to add some table legs because you need to have table legs so to do that you just go here to uh, back to create and you need to go to reference level and let's just place our legs somewhere and to do that we need to go here and create a few more reference planes so I'm just going to go here reference plane and kinda place one here one here just a small offset from the regular ones and you can use the offset tool for this I just prefer creating them and now we need to dimension all of these so I'm just going to go to DI and you dimension from the outside to the inside on all of these so you kinda go like that we don't need one here yeah kinda like that and this here as well and now what you're going to do you're going to select all of these dimensions and go here to parameter create parameter and let's just call this leg and go OK and now we can go here to family types and we can actually change the leg square uh, how would you call it size so let's change this to five centimeters go apply and all of the legs are now at five centimeters and now we just need to create these legs and you do that just by going to create extrusion rectangle and you just go here create a small rectangle and if everything is too large just go here to thin lines and you create something like that and you just go align and you align this to this lock in place this to this oops lock in place and you lock everything here and here as well lock in place or you can just go here let's do the second one and you can just create kinda like this a rectangle and then you have this option of locking everything in place let's see we've got one more here yeah so this is now constrained so you can use either one of those options so you can kinda create like that and now lock in place the problem is you can't see all of these very good but I think this worked here and let's do one here so here here yeah this works and you just go finish and now you go back to front and as you can see it's kinda all the way up here and you want to constrain the bottom part to the floor and just go lock in place and you can you want to constrain the upper part of the leg to this plane and you just lock in place and if we go into 3D we have our table and now I would just like to eliminate this here ugly line so you just go to join geometry and you join these two and it looks a lot nicer okay so we have our simple table but we don't know what we're using it for so let's create a few types for our family so how do you do that you need to go here to family types and let me move the table out of the way but we can see it 
and let's open up this family types dialog. Okay, so we've got some options over here and let's say we want to change uh, to save this and this will be probably a dining table. So I'm just going to go here and type in table. And this uh, this is our table, but let's say we want to create a desk for working. So that will have a bit of different dimensions. So I'm just going to go here to new type and call this desk. And a working desk, the standard dimensions, well, the height will be the same, but let's say that the length will be a lot smaller, so 120, and the width can be anywhere between 60 and 70. I like using 70 for working, so I'm just going to keep that. And for the table leg, let's just leave it as is. So now if we go to table, it's this, and if we go to desk, it's this, and if I hit apply, you can see this whole thing changed the dimensions. So it got smaller for desk and if we go to table and apply, it gets bigger. But let's say we want to have a coffee table or a club table. So we need to create a new type. So let's call it this club table. And let's change the dimensions. The height will be at 40 because I want it to be just a small table for leaving your coffee cups or whatever. And for legs, this will be smaller, so let's make the legs smaller. And for the length, let's do 80. And for the width, let's do, I don't know, something like 50. And just go apply. And we have this small little coffee table. And if I hit OK, this is now finished and we can load this into the project. But before we do that, we need to set the material. So I'm just going to select this whole thing and go here to material. And if you hit this over here, you can actually associate it to a family parameter so you can change the material within the project. But I don't want to do that, that I don't really need to. So let's just go over here and let's just search for some basic wood material. So let's go to wood, birch wood, I usually like using this. So you just load it in and you hit apply, OK. And now if we go into realistic, yeah, there we go our table is done. And now you can go ahead and save this family and then later on you can load it into your project as your own furniture family. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this simple beginner tutorial. I hope you have learned something new. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.